What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be checking out Llama Villa, a game where we build a city of llamas. Now normally I'm not so easily seduced by the idea of llamas. However, I they're, they're, they're my favorite animal. And so I guess you could say I am still easily seduced and I'm just trying to mess with you right now. Uh, we can buy some stuff. So we've got essentials, a fun box, a bucket, a peeing plant. We've got a nest. We've got a sprinkler. And we've got a new llama. Can I build a, can I build a, what if I want to build a, a house over here? How do I build a house? So we've got, so we've got essentials right now, a fun box. Alright, let's get our llama a fun box for right now. We're just going to put that right there. And then maybe we'll get like a, a thirst bucket. And then we're going to put a nest right there. I'm going to put a, maybe I can move this stuff. Maybe it's possible that I move this. Can I move these? Or are they just like stuck there? Uh-oh, they're going to be stuck out there forever. He probably need a sprinkler too, just so we can get our llama nice and clean, because ain't nobody want a dingy llama. And then the pea plant can be like, over here in that corner. There we go. Polly's taking a nap right now. Hello, Polly. Polly the llama, taking a nap. Cleanliness is kind of low right now. A clean llama is a happy llama. Llamas should have something to pee on. I mean, hey, everybody needs something to pee on. It is what it is. I pee on things all the time on stream. I mean, if you take pee on as a metaphor for, like, making fun of things that I don't like, absolutely. Ooh. What's up with this llama right here? Click to shear? Ooh. What happens when I shear a llama? Do I make money? Yeah, you shave that llama. Oh my god, we just made so much money. The llama is apparently taking a shower, and much like The Sims, we gotta blur that out for the kids. We can't have all kinds of llama nastiness happening right here on, on the internet, okay? Some things are socially acceptable. Some things are not. You gotta be careful with your llamas. You can't allow them to be exploited and shown off. We can buy a new llama? Yeah, let's buy a new llama. That sounds dope. Oh, here comes another llama. Will they share stuff? Or do my llamas have to have, like, separate things? So apparently that's a fun box, and the llama is apparently just diddling that box aggressively until the llama feels better about his present situation. We also have water right there. Do I have, like, a feeding thing that I have to give them, or do they not really care about that? So they already had fun. They already took care of their thirst. They already took care of their energy. So we have Rona the llama over here. Rona the Llama has decided to start the day out the right way by taking a long nap before the day has even begun. Nice job, Llama. There you go. Get nude again, Polly. It's okay. I won't tell anybody. I won't tell anybody. So, like, when do I get access to, like, what does Manage do? So we have Buy, and does it just pop back in? Okay, so that's what the difference is with Manage. How do I get, like, buildings and stuff? <gasps> we can make buildings? Ooh. Let's make, a, let's make a Llama Shack. Can I destroy stuff? Like, let's say that I go to the management menu, right? We go to the buy menu, and then we go to miscellaneous. Oh, there's a remove key. So right mouse button removes. Okay. So let's say we're in manage mode, right? And I want, like, some of this stuff to go away. Oh, we can do it like that right there. That llama is apparently taking a pee right now. Let me Let me get some of this fencing back right here. I'm not trying to have a fencing contest with my llamas. I don't know what the llama is doing right there, but the llama appears to be very, very derpily drinking, I guess. So now that we've got that taken care of, y'all done peed in the plants and everything. That's good. We'll get the essentials. So we got a fun box. We got a watering trough. We've got a peeing plant like over there. We'll bulldoze that in a minute. We got a llama nest right there, which is smaller than I would assume it would be. And then is that llama ready to be sheared? Yeah, let's shear that llama. Break out the razors. Bzzz. We're shaving the llama while it pees. Somehow this feels voyeuristic to me, but I'm not going to argue about it. Let's go with... So we got utility building. We got a llama bed? What? I kind of want to use the llama bed, but... So for buildings right here, we got walls. Alright, so let's rotate that wall right there. Yup, we making a llama house, y'all. We making a llama house. Are the llamas purring right now while they sleep? I'm having trouble telling. That looks like a good llama house. Like, I don't know what the criterion are for llama houses, but... How come the door won't go right there? Oh, you gotta put it in a blank spot. Okay, cool. This llama will have this floor right here. Yep, nice job, llamas. Uh, how do I put the walls down? How do I how do I do that? So with managing, how do I put the walls down? I know there was a way to put the walls down. 
I want my walls to go down. These walls need to go down like right now. Guys, I can't figure out how to put my llama walls down, so our llamas are just going to be like in a situation for the moment. Our llamas are just going to be encumbered. What if I want that floor to go away? There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we'll have like a little bathroom area for our llama. Exactly. Perfect. And now that we have that, we'll go ahead and go back. And let's say that we've got like, we've got kitchen stuff, right? Do, do llamas really need kitchen stuff? Apparently llamas can get on a laptop, which I learned today. Here, let's put in like a llama shower. There we go. Our llamas need a shower so they can do the whole shit shower and shave thing. And then we'll put that right there so we have a llama bed now. We gotta get more we gotta get more money. It's time to shear some llamas. Let's shear up a llama real fast. There you go. Llama, hop up in the shower and do your thing. I knew I could believe in you. Um, as far as buying stuff goes, like what if we have like outdoor things? So we got like a little fence right here. So that's a fence door. I'm gonna put that right there so that nobody takes offense. And then we'll put in like a little llama shelter house thing right there yeah that's what i'm talking about we in this llamas we in this perfect so our llamas got like a little fence around their compound right now so they can do their thing that llama's playing in the fun box at the moment i don't think i can rotate anything right now i don't think that's a thing that i can do what is that a dirt path yeah let's have like a dirt path that goes down over here like, I don't want to spend money on expensive roading because llamas are just going to tread all over it anyways. So there you go. Give me a nice little path. we got some lovely plants out here. Let's put those in front of the house because decoration is obviously a good idea. Llamas need to feel like they're coming home to something special. And then we've got kitchen stuff. What does a kitchenette do? It's a kitchen cabinet. We've got kitchen cabinets. We've got a blender. We've got a sink. We've got a fridge. And we've got a coffee machine. I think our llamas are going to be addicted to coffee. That's what I think. Yeah, let's put those in right there. Can I put those on top of the counter? <gasps> I can. Yeah, our llama has a coffee machine now, so we can get thirst all filled up. So we got shower. Where is the? Where was the shower? We got a trash can, too? I don't think they need a trash can. It's possible that a llama might need a trash can. I really wish I knew how to put the walls down. I sincerely wish I knew how to put the walls down. Apparently one of our llamas could not find a way back to the bed. Our llama has begun stucked. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Rona, why don't you go to the fun bucket? You need more fun in your life. Go to the fun bucket. Oh, llamas just wanna have fun. The llamas just wanna have fun. The llamas just wanna have fun. I can get my, my llama a rug. Yeah, let's, let's get a llama rug right there. I think I need to make the houses bigger next time, though. I definitely think the houses need to be bigger. Let's go for building over here. And so I'm going to have, like, a gray house on this side. I don't know if I can assign llamas to their designated space. But I'll try next time. I'll try real hard. Um, Get rid of that right there so we have room for a door. And let's keep building llama houses over here. There we go. That's a that's a much superior llama house. This is really a llama mansion if you want to apply yourself to that. There we go. Perfect. Oh, my llama's going to be so happy. My llama's going to be so stoked. We even got like that that modern door right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, we'll make the kitchen like that little area right there. Yeah, llamas, how you like me now? Shanana na llamas. Shanana na. Perfect. And then we'll go back inside and we got the kitchen stuff right here. So we got a kitchen cabinet on this side. Oh, my llama's about to be so dope. I'll probably put a trash can in. Like right over here so my llamas don't get messy. I'm not trying to have my llamas be messy right now. That bed said that it had no path. So we probably have to work on that. Wool is 83% ready on that side. Okay. Well, I need to get this house ready anyway, so it's not even that big of a deal. Let's go with our building essentials over here. I do wish that I could just click and drag this. It would make my life simpler. 
I am the best llama architect. If I put that, see, I still lose money when I put it on squares that are not done yet. So, like, this is, the flooring is easily the most expensive part of this entire renovation job. It's what's going to cost us. There we go. So, we got the floors all set up. Put that in right there. Ooh, we looking good. Is that pavement right there? This person's going to have a fancy walkway. There we go. It's good to refer to your llamas as persons. It'll help you really kind of like anthropomorphize them a little bit better. Your thirst is it. Can the door be open? Like I would suggest you go. Don't pee right there. That's not the place to pee. That's the wrong place to pee. I meant you were going to go to an object and pee at the object. That's what I meant right there. Hmm. Is there like a llama toilet anywhere? I need a llama toilet. Do we have like a llama utility toilet over here? There you go. Put that bed in right there. Maybe that'll be a little bit easier for the llamas to get to. And then... We've got a CRT or a flat screen TV. Where can the flat screen go? Can it go right there? That's fine. Glitch it out through the wall. I don't even care. And then we've got a llama turlet right there too. Yep, put in the llama turlet. I'm out of money though. And my llamas have ceased to walk around. Llama, why are you so sleepy right now, Llama? And then drink a drink a she couldn't find a path? Why? Weak, you guys. Weak. My llamas are suffering right now, and it makes me feel bad. I don't want my llamas to suffer. Yeah, there you go. Go watch TV, llama. That's what I'm talking about. Get them llama levels up. Uh, you go to the fun box. I think my llama is going to die, you guys. I think my llama is not going to make it. I think my llama is going to die from a lack of fun. Keep watching TV, llama. Keep watching TV until you feel better. And then from there, you can go take a giant beefy llama pee. What are you doing right now? Probably going to take a sleep. Oh, she's going to take a bath right now. Okay, that sounds good. That works. My llama just peed in the house again. Peeing on shelf. Is there any way for me to, like, open the door maybe and let her out? I don't know if she's stuck or not. Maybe... Maybe we get rid of the door and that'll help. The llama's using the shower though, so that's good. Nice job, llama. And that llama's taking a nap, so maybe we'll be okay. This person's ready to be sheared. So let's go ahead and shear that llama. I think my llamas are very, very confused by the concept of doors. Like, maybe I just crowded my llamas too much. There's a llama toilet right there. Right next to the llama bed. And then, like, we'll put a llama shower over here in the corner. Yeah, I think that was the problem. I think the door was confusing the llama. Llamas are not known for their ability to use thumbs and or use doors. So this is scientifically accurate right here. This game is like, this game is like a big just foray into research. So we got a radio right there you can listen to. Oh, weak. I don't got no monies left. My llama money's done run out. I need some llama guap. Give me set up on some of that llama guap. I need it. No, do not. Yeah, shear that llama right there. I need like a thousand llama dollars so that we can llama mow better. Is that llama going to go inside that door right there? Oh my god, the llama knows how to use a door. It's a miracle. So she's going to bed. Oh, look. It reclines on the bed all fancy llama style. I like that. That makes me pretty happy. This is a pretty simple game, but for some reason it's pushing all the right buttons for me right now. Who doesn't love llamas? Llamas are always fun. What is Polly doing right now? Polly is going to the bucket to get a drink, but you have a coffee maker. Like, I, I gave you a coffee maker. I guess I'll get the money back from the coffee maker if they're not going to use it. There you go. Shear that llama. Yup, shear it. There we go. Get that all taken care of so the wool will grow in nice and thick. We got enough for another llama right now. We have enough for another llama. 
so let's maybe buy another llama so that we have more money coming in. I feel like we have all the objects we need in order to make this all work. Like, I don't know if I can assign the llama is watching the TV. Oh, I'm sorry. The llama is listening to the radio through the wall. Probably not the most effective and simple way to listen to the radio, but, you know, it might be a little muffled, but I think it'll do. Going to bigger TV. There you go. Go get yourself, go get yourself some llama action right there. Do what you got to do. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to buy another llama. We need more llamas. We need, we need way more llamas. So there it is. Llamas acquired. We've locked in on yet another llama. I think this house might just be too small. Your wool is 29% ready. Your wool is 80% ready. We've also got JB the llama over here. JB, I get so drunk I'm on my knees. We go to work on a Friday. Oh, JB. Oh, please don't leave. I'm begging. Please don't want to go to work on Friday. This llama over here has done some kind of weird Stretch Armstrong action in order to get to the fun box and drink out of there. I'm not going to question it because the llama is taking care of its fundamental needs. And I don't think we should ever look down on a llama for doing that. What is that llama doing? Did that llama just pee? Yeah, pee in the toilet. There you go. I mean, you don't really need to pee right now. But I approve of it. I approve of it. I gotta wait till I can shear a llama over here. Otherwise, oh good, that llama's ready to go. So we'll go with the shearing right there. That llama's not there yet. That llama's not there yet either. Go, my llamas. Be happy. Look forth upon the universe and look at the bounty that Splatty hath given thee. And use it. Please use it. Uh, we'll go with building materials right there. I think I deleted my floor on accident. Like, you gotta make some pretty big llama houses in order for them to fit. Like, llamas require a lot more land space than a human does. That's what I'm learning the hard way right now. Is that llamas require quite a bit more urban planning than a human does. Like, kind of what I'm leaning towards and thinking... Ooh, my llamas are ready for shearing. Yay. Shear that llama. And shear that llama. Like, I feel like maybe I should set up just like a bathroom. Like a communal bathroom where all the bathroom stuff is. And then set up like a communal sleeping space where all the sleeping stuff is. It seems like a good idea to me. And I don't know how difficult that's going to be to pull off. But I think it's an idea worth exploring. That's all I'm saying is I think it's an idea worth exploring. No, get rid of the wall. Yeah, the wall. I'm going to put in a door right there for easier access. And then we'll take that right there. And then what I want to do is we're going to make a bathroom over here for our llamas. And it'll just be like a traditional outhouse over here. I don't know if that's going to be big enough. There we go. We'll give them lots of room. Perfect. Llamas, you're going to be so happy with this by the time that it's done. I once asked what the difference between a llama and an alpaca was, and somebody said one is judging you, the other is not. I don't know how true that is. Those among you that own llamas and alpacas will have to fill me in on that one. I am woefully unaware. I would love to have a llama someday. Just like a big old fuzzy pet llama would make me super happy. But I just, I'm not at that point in my life yet where I can afford to have a llama farm. So maybe someday we'll have a llama farm. Like, you gotta believe in something. You gotta have dreams every now and again. I really wish that this had a painting tool for the floors. It would be a lot simpler. There we go. So that's done. On that side, we'll have like a couple of showers in here. Yup. Just a bunch of llama showers so that they can rock out with the llama shower. And then over here, what we'll do is we'll delete that. And then we'll delete the toilet as well. And obviously, I got to put that floor back in. So let's do that first, too. It's kind of hard to select what it is you want to select in this game, but I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best, Nerd Castle. Uh, we'll go in like... Hey... Oh, apparently it stacks the floors when you put a floor on top of another floor. 
All right, well, we have money now, so that's good. Let's go back and we'll go to utilities, like toilets. Toilets are a good utility. I'll try toilets. There we go. So now we got the toilet set up. Everybody going toilet when they need to toilet. Let's get some more money, though, after this. We're going to shear everybody because everybody's ready to be sheared. And when they're ready to be sheared, we're going to do it. We're going to sell that wool. We're going to get that money. Perfect. This llama over here is voiding its bladder, so that's good. This house on this side, I don't feel that good about. So maybe, just maybe, we sell all of this. Right? Right? That's what Splatty's thinking right now. Maybe we get rid of all of that right there. Yep, just get rid of all those floor tiles. Get rid of them. And then we make this a little bit danker over here. Like, they don't have a water source, so I can't get too crazy on this side. But, like, if you want to take care of llamas, I got your back, bro. I got your back. The llama is listening to the radio through the wall again. As long as the llama listens to the radio, I don't really care. So let's put that in right there. Yup. Oh, it's going to be so rad. I think I'm going to stay away from doors right now. Doors seem to be kind of dangerous for my llamas. Like, they have this odd tendency to get stuck behind them. And I don't like a, I don't like a stuck-in llama, alright? I don't like it when my llamas get stuck in. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to delete, but okay. I accept. Oh, we got another llama house filling out right now. I'm just going to click randomly until I feel like we've accomplished this. Like, you're not going to be able to see half of it behind the walls anyway, so who cares? There we go. There we go. Llama house accomplished. We need our little concrete patio right there. And then we'll finish this off on this side. Oh, it looks good, Nerd Castle. It looks good. Let's put in a door. And then we'll put in a door right there, too, so they can access this little hallway over here. And then this is going to be like the bunkhouse for all of our llamas. So, like, what I'm talking about over here, I don't think that tables are really going to help that much. But what we will do is we're going to make a miscellaneous utility. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So we're going to have like a llama bunkhouse over here. With all the things a growing llama needs in order to be comfortable and or happy. So there we go. That's all done. Uh, we'll put in like a laptop over here. So that the llamas can geek out and play some video games if they need to. Perfect. A couple of laptops on each side. Just in case they want to get some land party multiplayer going. Because I'm not against that. This game is called Llama Villa. If you guys liked what you saw so far, you can get it down below in the link that I leave for you. It's a simple game right now about managing llamas and building houses to make your llamas happy. But if you're very, very passionate about llamas like Splattercat is, I think it's something that you might enjoy. There you go. Hop your ass into the chat room, Ron. It's all good. I will see you all later. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like on it. The game is $3. Super cheap. I'm assuming it's going to continue developing. It's kind of paper thin right now, but it incorporates llamas, and so I kind of had to feature it. I kind of had to. I'll see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in, and hi do everybody.